I'm Becky with Heroku Product Management, and today I'm here to talk about how Heroku helps you share data insights with your team. An organization's data is its most valuable asset, and that value can only be derived by extracting insights from data. Unfortunately, that data is often trapped inside a database, and business teams often don't know how to write complicated queries to the right insights. And even for those teams that can generate reports using SQL queries, for example, they worry about the results getting outdated. This can hinder an organization's ability to deliver on business goals. And that's why we created Heroku Data Clips, a simple lightweight data sharing tool that allows you to safely run, save, and share the results of SQL queries on a Heroku Postgres database directly from your dashboard. Much like Quip or Google Docs support the sharing and collaboration in documents, Data Clips does the same for your data without having to configure and maintain additional connections or pay for additional tools. Users can simply create a query via Data Clips and then share the results with anyone they want. The recipients of a Data Clip are able to view the data in their browser or download it in different formats, such as JSON or CSV. This allows your data to flow freely within an organization without being trapped with developers. Users can create reports and share it the live results and then have the ability to remove access in the future. Whether you're tracking signups, in-app behavior, revenue, or all three, you can use Data Clips to keep a live view into your performance of your application. So let's take a quick look at how we create a Data Clip. What you're looking at is the Heroku dashboard. This is where most teams start their day as they log in to Heroku and can view all apps and activity. Creating a Data Clip is pretty easy. We just head over to our menu in the top right corner and select Data Clip. And here, we're in our main data clips page where you can see all the data clips you've created. Let's create a new data clip. We're going to name our data clip SFO because we have some data on the San Francisco airport that we want to review. And then we'll select the database we want to run your query in. Let's add our query and run it. Now that we have our report generated, we can scroll down and see our data and visualize it as a chart. You can now easily download or export the query in a few different formats and share it with other team members. 